Hello everyone. Today we're going to be shipping these beautiful succulent plants. These are um, all these are aeoniums, different sizes, and the bigger ones are about 20, 21 inches tall. So they're pretty big compared to um, this one here. This this is a kiwi aeonium, beautiful. And the process to ship succulents is super easy. I mean, there's nothing hard to it. The first step is going to be to remove the soil. Make sure you grab a container to put all the soil that you're going to be removing. And for this example, I'm going to be using this beautiful Aeonium Firecracker. This particular plant is super beautiful. It has a lot of stems, a lot of um, um, heads. So it's going to look more beautiful as it keeps growing. And make sure you remove most of the soil that you can. Uh, take your time and pretty much uh, at this point you should be able to go to the next step which is uh, start wrapping your plant uh, with the paper uh, I'm gonna show you which paper I use or which paper you can use but I'm gonna do an extra step and I'm gonna explain it why now you don't have to do this step you can go and start wrapping your plants but the reason I'm doing it is because I'm gonna be shipping these plants all the way to Orlando Florida and I am located in Central California and these are gonna be making a long long trip which means that we want to remove as much weight as possible to avoid shipping cost and this is a step I'm gonna do I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna get my nozzle and I'm gonna try to remove as much as the remaining soil as possible. And I'm, uh, you guys notice I'm using the shower mode. Do not use the jet mode because you can damage your roots and you don't wanna damage your roots. And like I said, you guys don't have to do that. You guys can skip this uh, uh, step. I'm only doing it to uh, remove as much as weight as possible. And part of the showering step is to set your plants to dry in my case i'm putting a towel on the bottom to speed up the process and for me it took about an hour for the water to dry out and then after that i was ready to start uh, wrapping the plants and this is the type of paper i use it is the uh, postal wrapping paper and you can pretty much find it at any store uh, it, was, it is one of the most inexpensive papers, it is super cheap, but it does a job which is to protect the plant. Uh, when you're wrapping your plant, I mean, you can use any technique you want, but the main goal is to protect the whole plant all the way from bottom to, uh, to the top. Make sure it's well protected. Uh, you can use tape or you can fold the paper, however you want to do it. And you pretty much follow the same steps for the rest of the plants. I won't, I'm not going to make you watch my wrapping technique, which is pretty bad. But you guys kind of get the idea. Now, if you're going to be shipping more delicate plants or more smaller plants. I recommend you guys to use the gift tissue paper. And that's the paper I'm going to be using for the uh, small 6 inch kiwi aeonium. Uh, also, you can put another layer on top of this uh, gift tissue paper if you want to make it more secure. Um, that's a choice. Also, I'm going to be using this same paper to ship this uh, Gapto Petalon Paraguayense. These are from my last propagation. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and click on the link above. I recommend you to watch the video. It shows you exactly how to propagate this uh, succulent plant. It's so easy to propagate. One thing that I would like to share with you guys is that these two plants here, these two baby ones, I'm including these two as a gift. And the person where I'm shipping these two, she doesn't know that yet, so hopefully she likes them. At this point, we're done wrapping all of our plants, and now it's time to put them in the box. Uh, make sure that your box is a strong, because uh, they're going to be stacking stuff on top of it, so make sure that you, you don't get one of those flimsy boxes and at the bottom i'm gonna put some bubble on uh, wrap and then i'm gonna put the rest of the plants i'm gonna put the bigger ones on the bottom first and then i'm gonna put the 
smaller ones on the top but you guys kind of get the idea and then on the top you just finish with a some more, some more bubble wrap and we are pretty much done i hope this gets you inspired to ship plans to family to friends or to your business whatever you're doing uh, thank you for watching and see you until the next video